Dear viewers, in this video, I will tell you about how to use Google Classroom for giving and taking exams. This guide is meant for both instructors and the students. And if you are instructor, then you can start right away from here. And if you are student, then you can jump to the next section of this video. To create an exam in your required Google Class, just go to Classwork tab and then click on the create button here you will see different options and uh, you will choose assignment here first you have to give the title of your assignment or exam here and all the related exam instructions can be put in this box on the right side you will see the settings related to assignment first you can select the google classes in which this assignment will be posted and then you can see the list of students who will take this exam. You can select all students to take this exam or also you can specify some individual students in this list. In individual student selection, you can select minimum one student and maximum 100 students who can take this exam. Once student selection is complete, then you can decide the points value of this assignment and also can decide if it is ungraded. Further, you can set the due date and time for this assignment. And you can also decide the topic in which this assignment will be posted. You also have option to check the plagiarism in this assignment. Here you can see that all the settings are being saved automatically. In next step, you can add the question paper file or also can create that file in Google Docs, Google Slides or these options. And you can also add these already made PDF files from these options. If I decide to upload the file, then I will click here and this file insertion box will be opened here. Here you can select to choose file from your Google Drive or you can also upload from your PC. Once your question paper file is uploaded, you can see it here and here you will see the different options. Student can view file or can edit or make a copy for each student. So the best practice will be students can view this file so that original file could not be changed by the students. Now you're all set to post this assignment to the students and in upper right corner, you will see the assign button which will instantly share this assignment with the students and in drop down menu you can see the schedule option in which you can schedule this posting for a later date and time and also you can save it as draft until you are working on it so now click the assign button to instantly share this exam with the students which you have selected here now you can see the assignment and submission status in classwork tab in required topic and also in Google Class Stream here. Once exam is assigned to any student, the students can view the due work with due date and time in their Google Classes. You can also view due activities in Classroom Stream and also in the Classwork tab. Now click the due activity to open it and you will see the due activity details here. At left you can see the exam title with teacher name and the time when teacher posted this assignment to you. Below that you can see the total marks of the exam and also the due date and time of submission. Submissions done after this due time will be marked as submitted late. Then you can see all the exam instructions here. At the bottom, you can add class comments here, uh, which will be shown to your all class fellows. And uh, if you want to talk to your teacher privately, then you can add private comments here. Below exam instructions, you can see the question paper file. When you will click at it, it will open up a preview format here. In the top right corner, you will see the settings pane and here you can select open in a new window. You can view your exam in a separate new window and you can also download it uh, from the option in upper right corner. 
once your work is done then get back to the classroom tab and close the exam preview to see the main submission page so before your work submission here it is assumed that you have seen my other video about how to scan handwritten documents with cam scanner and uploading it to google drive link of this video is given in the description below here you can see the current status of your work which is set to assigned that means this work has been assigned to you and you haven't submitted yet to attach your work file click on add or create button and you will see different options here you can also create new uh, document in google docs slides and sheets and also you can upload your document uh, already saved in google drive so click on google drive here so in this file insertion box you will see different options like uh, you can upload your file from your pc and also you can get your file from your google drive so in the list view we can see the file which we have shared here in google drive through cam scanner now select your uh, desired file and uh, insert that file in your google class once your work file is uh, attached successfully you can see it here and you can also add or create new uh, work files with this so uh, before handing in you must uh, check your assignment that you are submitting your right file or not so you just click on the file and you will see the preview of your attached file here so just get back from the preview and now you are all set to hand in this assignment to submit your exam click on the hand in button and see the confirmation message here once uh, you are confirming your file then you can finally hand it once you have successfully submitted your work you will see your submission status set to handed in and you can also see the file which you have attached here and you can also preview it again timely submissions will show you handed in status while late submissions will show you handed in late and also if you uh, forgot to attach your work then you will also see no work attached here to see the complete status of your work get to the classwork tab and here you will click view your work here you will see the complete list of all the work that have been assigned to you and its real time status at the right so if you see all blank here so that means nothing is due on you i hope now it is clear to you that how you can easily submit your exams in google classroom and if you have further questions or queries then you can ask me in the comments section below thanks for watching